One thing I want to tell you right before you start the crucible is that it's gonna be the hardest thing that you do. It's gonna push you to your limits, but once you get it, that's it, that's yours. You're gonna be a Marine next to me. I decided that uh, I wanted to join the Marines because I saw the way my dad was able to take care of the family. I wanted to be able to do that. All the benefits and everything that comes with it. When I got on recruiting duty, I didn't realize how demanding it was because it always looks easy as a pulley. But when you're on recruiting duty, you realize how many hours you got to put in and how much you actually have to learn. I had to quickly learn how to talk to people. I had to get myself into the schools, get into everywhere I was doing and be able to talk to parents. And then that's when I realized that I could change people's lives. Having that parent come in and saying I changed their kid's life, I made it better, I took them out of that bad environment. My son, same path as a lot of the ones that when I was on recruiting duty, doesn't really know what he wants to do. He did not want to be in the military at all, so I didn't really pressure him. So my reaction when my son told me that he wanted to join the Marine Corps, it, it was a, a total shock. I think he was very excited at first about me joining. He didn't tell me. <laughs> I found out you were taking the test. Yeah, uh, I, I actually, um, I called him after I took the ASVAB and everything because my, I needed his information for my recruiter. So he found out when I was already in the debt. <laughs> Every time he wrote me, it was always something new, like, oh, you're gonna get through this. We're all gonna come see you. We're all proud of you. And it's just a whole bunch of motivation coming from him. My son did have a lot of questions right before going to boot camp. The biggest thing I told him was, it's the not quitting, because no matter how good you are, they're gonna push you a little bit more. Some of the things I did tell him is what I went through, even though it was 23 years ago, it's still very similar and what to expect and uh, I'm proud of him. I can't wait to see him when he uh, actually becomes a Marine. At first, when I was gonna get the Eagle Globe and Anchor, I was just like, oh, I'm gonna get this. I just wanna go to the Warriors breakfast. Then I saw him walk up to me and I'm just like, don't cry, don't cry, don't cry, don't cry. <laughs> him giving me his Eagle Globe and Anchor, it's really special. It, Being able to see my son today following in my footsteps. I was always very proud of being a Marine. You know, you don't really enlist without enjoying what you do. And doing 23 years, you really enjoy the Marine Corps if you do it past 20. And uh, I gotta say, it's, uh, it's, it's probably a better feeling being able to see my son uh, stand next to me as a Marine. Being able to give him my EGA is probably one of the proudest moments I say it has been in my career, being able to be here and see him go through this.